Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 24th C Sharp tutorial. Um, today we're going to be discussing the radio button. Hmm, let's see if I can find it here. Yes, radio button. Let's just throw a couple of these on here. And you notice how it names them radio button 1, 2, and 3? Now, what does a radio button do? Well, you notice how one's kind of dotted. It's not really a check, it's more of a dot. And when you select another one, it unchecks and checks the other one. So that's how you select an option, like what's your favorite color, red, green, blue, something like that. So let's actually set the text of these. And I want to show you what happens. Actually, let me grab a group box here expand containers and you see a group box just drag and drop that out there and I want to show you the base functionality of a group box in regards to radio buttons let's just control C select the group box control V and now we've got two sets of radio buttons now how do I know there are two sets they're, they're in different containers when you select this group box this acts as a container whereas the form is a container also so let's actually set this to center screen, that way we know where it's going to show up. Run this. You notice how we have two different sets of radio buttons. So you could say, you know, what's your favorite color, what's your secondary favorite color. Now, how do you actually get the value here? How do you know what's what? Well, let's throw a button out here and let's find out. So, we're just going to say You notice how there's the radio buttons. Radio button one checked. Very simple, very easy. So you could say, okay, if then statements. This is probably the easiest way to do it. And let's just make a string here. We'll say string s color. And we'll say radio button one text. And that's all we're really going to do here. Now, I know some of you out there, some of you old gurus, are probably screaming, Brian, Brian, there's easier ways. This is a beginner's tutorial, guys, so let's just keep it from a beginner's level. So that's one way of doing it. Save it. And let's actually throw a message box up here. Whoops. F5 and run. So let's say my favorite color is blue. Click the button and ooh, ooh. we did a boo boo. S color equal radio. Uh, yes, radio three dot text. That's why. So let's try that again. Blue, and there we go. My favorite color is blue. Let's try green. Sure enough, green. So let's find a more advanced yet simpler way of doing this here. Let's throw another button out here. Let's throw it in here. And here's our button two. Double click that. Now, what I want to do is make a function. We'll call this private void get color. And we want a radio button. And we'll just call this RDO button as our parameter. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say, OK, send this radio button as the parameter to this function. And we're going to encapsulate this code here. So we're going to say, If RDO button, the radio button, checked, then we're just going to just pop up the message box here, just for sake of argument here. Then we will just simply say, get color, radio button, 
for and we will just do this a couple times here and this is a more advanced option um the most advanced option which we won't get into today because it's beyond the scope of what we learned so far is using what's called reflection where you would uh, query all the controls on the form and then see if it's a radio button and then for each radio button do something but this is a, a mid-range version of it so let's run this and we'll say green notice how this is blue this is green so that in a nutshell is the beginner's guide to the radio button this is Brian I hope you found this tutorial educational and entertaining and uh, thanks for watching